that's the sound of a very tired, tired diesel engine. Morning, you right? A pound. Please, thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Okay, so for this car boot sale, we're going to try something a little bit different. We'll address the fact I haven't done a video in a month, but first let me explain why you're hearing my voice right now. I'm going to try and do a voiceover. I'm going to give you like some commentary as I'm going around. I'm still going to keep the sounds, the ambient noises, the out of context conversations, the music that's clearly copyright, but it's playing two hours over, so I'm hoping YouTube doesn't notice. I'm going to keep all that that stuff you know and love about the nine episodes I've made before this but this time I just want to give you some more entertainment because I can't lie it's a little bit boring walking around a car boot like being there is fine but walking around watching me go around a car boot thing not so interesting like it's not very entertaining for me that like, I'm even getting bored watching and editing this video so if I explain what's going on maybe it'll add something to the video I mean, right now I'm just looking through some clothes. In a second I'm going to look through some more clothes and we'll get to why I'm doing that and where I am in a second. But first, please, if you could just give me some feedback on this voiceover, any of the 417 people that watch these videos, let me know if this voiceover is just like, yo, man, don't do that again. That was just... leave that. Put that in the bin. Don't do that again. Or, yo, man, that was really entertaining. I really enjoyed your voiceover. Please do that on every video from the future now on, and maybe I will, um, even though it's more effort and it takes longer and it takes so many takes to try and get the right thing to say. Anyway, let's get into it because I'm probably going to ramble a lot whilst I'm walking around looking at clothes that are new, which is not what I'm after, looking at step ladders, which is not what I'm after. So what am I after, you're wondering, if I'm saying everything I'm not after? I'm after vintage clothes, which is a lot different than new clothes I'll have, you know. I'm looking for like 1980s, 1990s, 2000s, vintage designer stuff like Prada, Dior, Burberry, Armani. You name an expensive brand, I bought it for 50p. That's what I'm here for, that's what I've done for quite a while now. That's why I've kind of started doing these videos, because I want to show you how I find what I find. The things you won't find in a charity shop or at a vintage kilo sale or even at a rag house like some of the things are too valuable for someone to donate but they'll sell for 50p doesn't make sense to me either but that's just the way it goes and that's why i've kind of over the years realized car boots are the place to go for amazing quality vintage so where are we we're in leicester this is croft car boot i mean you can tell leicester by the title but Croft Car Boot, probably one of the best, biggest in the area. Maybe the best. That's debatable. There's some, sometimes quite a lot of traders here, which is also not what us car booters are looking for. Yeah, sometimes I buy like stock of an item from someone if I need like loo roll or a light bulb. But mainly, I'm just here for like the private sellers that are selling kind of stuff that might have been in the loft a long time. House clearances are always a really good one for me. So whenever I see like someone that's clearly a house removal kind of guy and he's just trying to shift everything i usually get quite a lot because i can kind of be like oh mate you've got a load of clothes there how much would you want for all of them oh yeah i'll take them all because i know in amongst them all there's going to be some good gems and it's of the age i want it to be like 1980s 1990s stuff so yeah that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for vintage clothing I'm always on the out, looking around, spying with my eyes, looking for faded t-shirts, the elusive single stitch I keep talking about, which I'm yet to make a video explaining why that's so important and why us vintage resellers love single stitch, and why the, the end consumer needs to have a vintage single stitch t-shirt over just another t-shirt from Primark. So we'll get into that on another date when I decide to do that video because I've barely made this video because it's been like two months since I've uploaded so that's the basics covered we're at the car boot what's this video about why do you keep making these weird car boot videos and I tell you it's for the vibes man I love walking around I love the atmosphere meeting people 
doing deals, having a laugh. Some of the things that happen at car boot, you can't put into words, like the things you see, the people you meet, the things you overhear, the music you want to shazam, but you're too embarrassed to, all of that. It's a great atmosphere, it's a great vibe, and especially at like a big bustling car boot like Leicester or Birmingham, like some of the ones I've been to before. There's no better place to be on a Sunday morning. And if you're not out of bed at 5 a.m. on a Sunday, you're not one of us. And I know some of you watching our car booters as well, and you'll understand like that rush you get of getting something for 10p at 6 in the morning. Nothing beats it. Nothing at all in this world comes close to getting a bargain. That's what we all love, that's what we all want, and that's why we're here. And we're here for the vibes. And we're here for the sun as well, because when it's raining or when it's like frosty, or when it's just like doom and gloom, no one really wants to go around a car boot. I mean, I always have to go because it's kind of like my business kind of thing, even though I've got a day job, which now we're talking about, uh, let's get on to why I haven't made a video in so long whilst I look through some clothes. Um, I've just been super busy. Like it can't be... Have a nice day. Oh, I just bought something, that's nice. You'll see that later on in the video. Stay tuned. Do not skip ahead, please. Whilst I'm looking through these clothes, we'll continue. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a while. It's just been tricky to kind of base it around my day job that I've been quite busy with at the minute. Not vintage, like my actual employment with a company. Um, and like personal things as well, going through... Oh, it's just boring. You know what I mean? You don't need to hear about all the ins and outs of all that lovely stuff let's just say i've been busy with work so that's why i haven't made one of these videos i keep going to these car boots but the only thing is is filming it and looking round is a bit of like a you're, you're juggling the two like what's more important am i looking for vintage or am i trying to hold my camera as steady as i can so that you don't get annoyed that it's on an angle like now great perfect steady smooth I'm not walking too fast. Look, I'm going towards a rail. I'm even going to hold my phone just right so I'm not pointing at the sky. Didn't find anything on that rail. Lots of good stuff, though. I mean, some of the things you find. like Who needs that bin? Someone. And I might even want it next week. I don't know if it's on next week. And if it's still there, it's probably sold because someone has snapped that bin up so quick. Okay, Matt, let go of the bin. You're thinking about it too much. I know you're going to regret it later, but just let it go. Like, you've got no room in your flat for a bin that size that looked that cool. So, we're almost done with this car boot. I hope you've enjoyed me, like, waffling as I've walked around. The next car boot we're going to go to in a minute is going to be a lot more, I'd say, interesting just by the sounds that happen in it and, like, the talking that goes on and it's a little bit more bustling because it's later on in the morning probably like 9 a.m by the time i get to the second one but if you think you've enjoyed this voiceover kind of thing like i said leave me a comment let me know what you think of it like i really will appreciate every single comment i'll reply to every single comment because you know i mean i've got nothing else to do other than just talk to the people that watch my videos and enjoy them if you think I've earned a subscription, that'd be really cool. Like, if you could drop me a, a subscription down below and a thumbs up on the video. I mean, it helps with the YouTube algorithm gods giving this video more chance to go further than it normally would. And obviously, that's a good thing because everyone needs to go to a car boot sale. I can't stress that enough. Fast fashion, it's not about it. It's about getting a good bargain at a car boot sale. So... Yeah, we're almost done here, so let's go back to in real life, Matt, and then we'll see what happens. I'm going to go to another one now. I hope that wasn't too boring, because um, it's just going to be more of the same. I'm um, just walking around, seeing what the vibe's like. Yeah, next one's 10 minutes away, so it's not even a bad thing.
you up and running, guys. Anybody fancy a bacon roll, burger, cheeseburger, anything like that? You've got William and, uh, William and the burger, excellent. And Martin in the middle. Uh, John and Vanessa down here. Thank you. 
So before we have a look through everything, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, liking the video, leave me a comment and just some good vibes would be nice. Like I said earlier in the video, like it's been a month since I did a video just because I've been so busy. Um, but it was good. Got a lot of good stuff today. This backpack is pretty full. Let's have a look through it. Um, let's look at this carrot cake that I got reduced from the co-op. Uh, a great example of a vintage carrot cake um, that's almost out of date, goes out tomorrow. A great find, an absolute cracking find. Uh, let's be serious then. So, um, bought a load of white stuff, which is always a bit of a tricky one because I don't know if there's gonna be any marks on it. There could be like unknowing stains that I don't know about yet. Yeah, let's look through some of these. So this guy had, a couple of um, like vintage polo shirts. So this one's a Boss one. It's really cool, really nice. I really like the style of that. Um, yeah. What's the other one that the guy had? Kind of gives me like a tennis vibe. I don't know. This one is Donnie. Um, so not a popular brand, but then I think the Boss one is single stitch. But you don't really count single stitch when it's not on when it's not on there, like a t-shirt. And then, yeah, stick it, I think this is from the same guy, so we'll stick with it. A large Brian Adams 1997 World Tour. World Tour t-shirts, they're just never gonna go out of style. Like people, brands recreate them now, so if you've got the original 1997 one, it's just a no-brainer that it's gonna be like a good value to it. Um, this one, the guy said something like 1980s with this one, and he even gave me a bag, which was nice of him. Um, please don't turn your back on animals. I don't know, it's a cool one. Again though, like I'll have to kind of check it over to look for marks, which, like there's some mud marks there, hopefully they'll wash out, but we'll just see. So this one, not single stitch, but 1980s because the guy told me. Uh, stick to t-shirts, so... I thought this one was kind of cool, like the films just came out as like a somewhat vintage Dungeons and Dragons t-shirt. It's a nice one. I like it. It won't sell for a crazy amount, but that fade really made it cool. Um, yeah, let's do all the t-shirts first. This one's so nice and um, it's definitely like 1990s, just from this tag. So it's quite an old tag. As we can see there, like a nice old Gildan woven label. Any dates on it? No, nothing. Which is really nice, really cool. That would definitely go for like a nice quality little bit. Um, this one, oh, I love finding it. I found a few of them before, but it's a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt. So it actually says Fruit of the Loom on it. Um, and then the tag's pretty old, but then yeah. That is what we like, that single stitch is just so desirable, even on a t-shirt that is almost worthless. Um, is that all the t-shirts done? I found, this doesn't look in great condition, but Oakley is a really good popular brand at the minute, like some v-neck jumper, not very exciting, we won't even look at that for long. This was cool, an Asics, I like pullover, sweatshirt thing. Heavy embroidery, details, 90s, really cool. These were nice, some Wrangler jeans, green. They'll definitely kind of go for a bit, they're quite a desirable colour. They did have a tiny bit of bleach on them. But again, for what we do, a little bit of marking isn't a bad thing. Oh, this one was a nice one, a vintage, probably like late 90s, early 2000s Timberland t-shirt. Fade's great on it, print's great on it, all round really good. Uh, this one is gonna probably go to my dad because it's got that kind of dad vibes, a North Face shirt. 
he likes looking like he goes walking. Um, what else we get? Some Ralph Lauren jeans, which are my size, so I might steal them. I'm not even telling you how much I paid, God. Um, the t-shirts I paid 50p a pop for, I think the Tim Lawn I paid a pound. Uh, check shirt, two pound, jeans, one pound. Yeah, the maximum I've paid so far is two pound for any item. These were a pound. Um, I think everything's gonna be, yeah. I think this was a pound, a snap-on fleece. Uh, Snap-on's got a cool brand if you like into your cars. It doesn't look too old. Just got some really cool details there. Like I, I just love the little details you find on things. Uh, last thing, this was cool. A Puma. I think I maybe paid three pound for this. Really nice. Like you can tell by these older tags. Vintage clothes always have a little bit more detail to them. They're designed to last. Um, yeah, just really nice. Embroidery, fade. Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm just talking for the sake of talking now. I know this video has been really long. Thank you so much for watching. Like everyone who watches my videos, it means so much to me. Every 416 person, people, it's just great to know that people care about all this stuff. Like for me, it's so interesting. I love kind of like the details on clothes and I love like just knowing that this design won't be made anymore and that it's really, what is single stitched on the arm as well? Oh, that's good, isn't it? I'm gonna make a video about single stitch eventually because there's not really one out there that describes what single stitch is, and how to look for it, how people recreate it, how it, why it was done in the first place, which I've gone over in a previous video, and like the end that it's a more complicated way of stitching the sleeves. I think my neighbours are starting to play music, so that is definitely time to cut the video. Um, like, subscribe, comment down below. Like, I'm going to reply because I'm so bored all the time and I don't have any social media that I will always read the comments and communicate like, yeah, that was a good buy. No, that wasn't a good buy. Yeah, that car boot was good. No, that wasn't good. There was a lot of mud there. Yeah, thank you very much. And as always... It's always what, man? I don't even know anymore. I think I'm quite tired. That's why I'm waffling so much. So, yeah, we'll just cut the video here.